If you're watching this on the original day of broadcast, on today's Positive Daily Inspiration, I talk about one-minute miracles. How if you spend one minute with God, it can change your entire day. One of the things that I say is that in spirituality, time and space are different. One minute with God can equal an eternity of divine answers for you. People think that, well, I don't have time to pray. They think that they'll put off prayer until they have time to spend hours and hours and hours. Well, hours and hours and hours, that's good. But when you can't, spend one minute. One minute, and what I suggest is one minute at the first part of every hour. Oh boy, that will change your day and maybe redirect your entire life. When you spend time with God, God will instruct you in the way that you should go. God is always willing to teach you, and you should always be willing to listen and to learn. But sometimes we're tempted to ignore God's instructions. And when do we do this? <laughs> when we get too busy, when we get too busy to pray, when we get too busy to plug in. I often say at my seminars, it would be like a cell phone deciding, well, I'm too busy with all the things I have to do today. I'm not going to plug in and recharge. Well, that would last a few hours. Then the battery light would come on flashing, but still it was too busy to plug in to recharge. And pretty soon its life would be over until it plugs in to recharge. It's the same with us. When we take even one minute in prayer, we will find that we have direction. We will find new meaning in our life. And we will find that when we follow God in this way, that truly it changes everything. Because we receive the still small voice of God's instruction. When we ask God for God's guidance, even in a one-minute time period, we will speak and we'll listen, and everything will change. We'll seek and we will find. It is the best path to take for this day or any day when we take time to follow God. God does not give us everything we want, but God does fulfill all God's promises as he leads us along the best and straightest path to the divine. In Psalms 16:11, it says, You will teach me how to live a holy life. Being with you will fill me with joy. At your right hand, I will find pleasure forever. The right hand is an idiom for the right side of God. Well, I pray that you do today, that you take one minute, and why not right now? Look at your watch, look at the second hand, and when it goes to 12, start your prayer. And then pray for one minute. And then the next hour, why not do it again? You'll find that you'll have a recharge and a complete restoration in your soul.